Today I'm going to show you how to fix a leaking water cooler. This is an Igloo 5 gallon cooler. One thing you'll always want to do before you take your cooler to a party, fill it up, and then find out you have a leak, uh, you'll always want to do that before you mix your drink and then uh, that way if there's a problem you can fix it. I would always test out a cooler anytime you're going to use it. You could possibly have a leak around this seal right here and that's an easy fix. All you need to do is tighten up the uh, this right here. And I'll show you how to do that. I, the other possible leak you could have is on the inside of this seal uh, down below here. If this is not uh, sealed properly against the cooler, uh, you could get some leaking going on there. And I'll show you how to uh, repair both of those possible problems. So what you're going to need to fix a cooler, uh, you probably want some channel locks, uh, maybe a crescent wrench. And then I've taken this apart so, so you can see the different components of the uh, water cooler. You've got the spigot. There's also a washer here. You can see that will be flush up against this. Uh, these are actually two pieces. I didn't take them apart, but you can unscrew them. Uh, this screws onto here. And then uh, on the inside of the cooler, you've got this. Uh, there's a wa actually a washer inside of here. That fits on there on the inside of the cooler. And then you've got this to tighten it up. And uh, that's basically all you have to a water cooler. Now, problem that you could have, you could have a bad washer here. Uh, you could have this washer could be bad or maybe the fittings are just not tight and i'll just go ahead and show you uh, what you can do to fix a leaking cooler i just want to show you this before i do it it'll be a little bit easier for you to see this but you'll put this inside the cooler and then this goes um, up against the cooler and then uh, you'll put on this piece right here now you'll notice that if you'll get a crescent wrench you can slide it in here close it up and then it'll be easy to uh, tighten it up and it'll probably be difficult to see when I do that but that's a, an easy way to tighten it up without stripping anything. Okay now I'm going to show you how to go ahead and assemble this and uh, some basics that you can do to uh, make sure that it's not leaking. I mentioned how you've got to check these washers. Uh, there's one right here. You'll want to check this one. Uh, make sure that's good if it's you've got a broken washer that it's going to leak you've got this washer here you want to check that one make sure that one's good to go and that goes right up against this uh, section right here now to assemble this uh, we're first of all going to put this on here and you want to make sure that you don't cross thread just make sure it goes on nice and easy and you want to get that nice and snug you can hand tighten it one of the problems you might have is if if this is loose it's going to leak so you want to get that nice and tight. Just, you know, if you hand tighten it really well, it should be okay. The next thing we need to do is uh, we're going to assemble this. We're going to uh, put the washer inside of here. And then you just go ahead and uh, attach the uh, washer in through here. And then we're going to screw on uh, this nut. And we'll just go ahead and hand, you know, again, you don't want to cross thread it, so make sure it goes on nice and easy. And then to get it really snug, we're going to uh, use the crescent wrench like I showed you. Just slide it in and then twist it. You can see we'll be able to get it nice and snug just by doing that. One thing about crescent wrench is sometimes it'll come a little bit loose. You may have to keep tightening it. But that should be good right there. We'll go ahead and fill this up a little bit and I'll show you where you could possibly have leaks. I mentioned now how if this is not tight enough down here, uh, you may just need to tighten that up a little bit or you may need to get some channel locks and just uh, tighten this up right here. Just uh, go ahead and tighten that and that could relieve some of the problems. You can see we filled it up with water we're having a little bit of leaking, so we, we loosened this up a little bit, uh, readjusted the, uh, the washer. Uh, one thing about this is you don't want to compress it too much. If you compress it too much, uh, it's not going to seal properly. So you can see now that uh, we've stocked 
stop the leak. It looks like we should be good to go. So again, the possible problems you might have is this washer here. You want to check that. Make sure this is tight. You don't want to over tighten it though. Uh, that could cause problems. Or you might need to tighten this in here. Again, you don't want to over tighten them. That can cause uh, damage to the washer and cause it to leak. But those are the things you need to check for when you're when you've got a leak in your cooler again always check your cooler out before you mix your drink because uh, if there's a leak it's going to be a mess now if there's too much damage to the spigot you can always just buy a new one they run around ten dollars on amazon thanks for watching big al repairs and hopefully you subscribe